well, we like India first and foremost because it's got some great businesses. Um, India is a difficult place to do business, uh, but that means there's limited competition. So if you can invest in a company uh, with an established business model and connections, it can ret uh, earn very high returns for a sustainable period of time. Um, on the macro front, um, things have improved dramatically. Uh, the current account uh, it might be in a surplus uh, for the first time in over a decade. Inflation's coming down, and we do think the, uh, the, the Narendra Moody coming in with the first majority in more than 20 years in India uh, could be very beneficial for the country. No, we don't think so. We think the, the technology sector is somewhat misleading because it's made up of so many different diverse um, industries that have no correlation to each other. Uh, so, for example, we're invested in uh, Indian outsourcers, which are really geared into a Western improving economy, uh, to Chinese internet companies. Um, so we think it's very broad and we should actually look at the industry level, not just at the sector heading. No, I don't think so. I mean, firstly, these companies deserve to trade on high values. Um, they've got very high barriers to entry. Um, they're rapidly scalable without much capital, generate huge returns and throw off an awful lot of cash. Uh, they have performed very well lately, uh, but that's really because they perform well operationally. Uh, so the likes of Tencent has uh, tripled its earnings almost in the past three or four years. So it's not just a re-rating. And then finally, spot multiples might look quite high. Uh, take Baidu on 30, 35 times PE. This is a company that we think can see its earnings grow by four or five-fold over the next five years. So looking out then, you're paying you know, a low single-digit multiple for a company growing at maybe 30, 40%. I think really is because we're very concerned about the direction of returns, which we think are going to come down quite sharply. Uh, China has been on a massive uh, credit boom. Uh, loans to GDP have more than doubled over the past three or four years. And that's really been led by the banks. And we think MPLs, uh, non-performing loans, are going to pick up substantially at some point. That's going to depress earnings and also wipe out some of the equity of the banks, which means they're not nearly as um, cheap as they might look uh, at, at, at a first glance.